On the hallowed ground of Plains, Georgia, a profound chapter began on August 18, 1927. It was a day when the pages of history whispered with uncertainty, as the Great Depression cast its long, ominous shadow. In this crucible of challenges, a nascent heartbeat echoed, not with despair, but with the promise of a tale unparalleled. A saga of resilience, compassion, and a quiet strength that would defy the very fabric of adversity. That was Rosalind Carter, a quiet force shaping a nation's heartbeat. Nestled in the cotton fields, the Smith family home witnessed the forging of character. Rosalind's early years, steeped in the values of community and hard work, laid the foundation for a force destined to shape history. In 1936, tragedy struck, claiming her father. At the tender age of nine, Rosalind faced loss, birthing a resilience that would become her hallmark, a strength discovered amidst adversity. Graduating in 1944, Rosalind's youth was marked by community engagement and leadership. A small-town girl with an unassuming demeanor, she harbored the potential to become a catalyst for change. For the southern roots of resilience and compassion emerged a love story that would stand the test of time. A tale woven into the fabric of Plains, Georgia. In the quiet town of Plains, Georgia, destiny quietly wove the threads of Jimmy and Rosalind Carter's love story from the very beginning. Born in the same close-knit community, their paths intertwined in the most endearing way. Jimmy first set eyes on Rosalind when he was just three years old, peering through the cradle bars as his mother, Lillian Carter, delivered newborn Rosalind in August 1927. Little did they know that this initial meeting would plant the seeds of a profound connection that would blossom into a romance many years later. In the post-war glow of 1945, amidst a world yearning for hope, Rosalind's journey continued. It was in these hopeful times that she crossed paths with a young Navy officer named Jimmy Carter. In 1945, they officially began dating after meeting at a dance at the Y Sanitarium, sealing the fate of a love story that transcended time and left an indelible mark on history. Letters exchanged, stolen glances, and whispered promises. Rosalind and Jimmy's courtship unfolded with the tender grace of a southern breeze. In July 1946, under the swaying Georgia Pines, their love solidified as they exchanged vows, marking the beginning of a journey that would span decades. United in marriage, the Carters embarked on a life intertwined with purpose and shared ideals. From the modest peanut farm in the plains to the corridors of power, theirs was a partnership fueled by mutual respect and a commitment to making a difference. As they settled into married life, Rosalind and Jimmy's commitment to community service intensified. The Carters worked side by side, not only nurturing their own family but also planting seeds of change in the community they held dear. The legacy of love and service woven into the fabric of Rosalind and Jimmy Carter's marriage took a poignant turn. As they delved into a cause that would touch the hearts of millions, mental health advocacy. The year was 1971 when Rosalind Carter, with a passionate commitment to breaking the silence, became the honorary chair of the President's Commission on Mental Health. It marked the beginning of a journey to confront the taboos surrounding mental health and champion the cause with unwavering dedication. Armed with compassion and a determination to eradicate the stigma, the Carters embarked on a nationwide campaign. Their efforts reached a crescendo in 1973 with a groundbreaking televised town hall meeting, where real people shared their struggles with mental health, dismantling the walls of silence. On that fateful day, April 30, 1973, the Carters, through the power of the airwaves, broke the chains of silence surrounding mental health. Their commitment to transparency and understanding echoed across the nation, ushering in a new era of empathy. In January 1977, the hallowed halls of the White House welcomed a transformative force as Rosalind Carter assumed the role of the 39th First Lady of the United States. It was a time marked by challenges, and she emerged as a beacon of strength, purpose, and quiet influence. Stepping into the role with grace and determination, Rosalind immediately set the tone for her tenure. She recognized the White House not just as a symbol of power, but as a platform for positive change. She remarked, the thing I like about this country the most is that we help people in need, embodying the spirit of humanitarianism that defined her legacy. January 20, 1977, a day etched in history. As her husband, Jimmy Carter, took the oath of office, Rosalind embarked on a journey that would see her leave an indelible mark on the nation. In the early days of her tenure, 
Rosalind Carter turned her attention to education. Launching the First Lady's Conference on Libraries and Information Services, in 1979, she convened a gathering of experts, advocating for increased funding for libraries and literacy programs. With meticulous attention to detail, she championed the cause of literacy, understanding that education was the cornerstone of a thriving nation. Beyond literacy, Rosalind's compassionate gaze turned towards the elderly. In 1978, she convened the White House Conference on Aging, addressing crucial issues affecting the older generation. The White House Conference on Aging became a pivotal moment, and her financial commitment of $1.9 billion underscored her dedication. With every initiative, Rosalind sculpted a narrative of respect and dignity for the elderly, echoing her profound sentiment. Our seniors are the cornerstone of our society. Walk with us through a chapter that embraces the wisdom of age and paints a portrait of a first lady committed to enhancing the golden years. Her initiatives resulted in the establishment of the National Institute on Aging, a testament to her commitment to improving the quality of life for seniors across the nation. While the spotlight often focused on her public-facing initiatives, Rosalind's influence extended behind the scenes, shaping policies that touched the lives of everyday Americans. As the years unfolded, the Carters continued their tireless advocacy. Rosalind's empathetic approach, coupled with Jimmy's leadership, brought forth the Mental Health Systems Act of 1980, a landmark legislation aimed at improving mental health services across the country. Her statement, mental health is often missing from public health debates, even though it's critical to well-being, underscores her commitment to destigmatizing mental health. The Mental Health Systems Act of 1980, a hallmark legislation, stands testament to her enduring efforts to improve mental health services across the nation. With the stroke of a pen on October 31, 1980, the Carters solidified their commitment to transforming mental health care in America. From health care reforms to advocacy for mental health, her quiet diplomacy and influence were instrumental in steering the ship of state towards a more compassionate course. Also, Rosalind Carter stood on the precipice of advocacy, emerging as a powerful advocate for women's rights. In 1977, Rosalind Carter, as the 39th First Lady, addressed the pervasive issue of gender wage disparity. Her commitment to economic equality materialized in her fervent advocacy for equal pay. This pivotal year witnessed her tireless efforts to bridge the pay gap, culminating in the support of the landmark Pregnancy Discrimination Act, which aimed to protect women in the workplace, acknowledging the fundamental right to equal compensation for equal work. Undeterred by the challenges, Rosalind continued her advocacy into 1978, where she became an unwavering champion of reproductive rights. In the face of contentious debates, she staunchly defended a woman's right to make decisions about her own body. Her advocacy contributed to crucial policy discussions and paved the way for the broader reproductive rights movement. Rosalind's actions not only addressed legislative milestones but sparked a nationwide dialogue on women's autonomy and health care. Rosalind's profound statement, equality is not just a word, it's a fundamental right, encapsulates the essence of her commitment. Her words became a rallying cry for justice, resonating beyond legislative chambers and inspiring countless individuals to join the fight for gender equality. In June 1979, Rosalind Carter, in yet another groundbreaking move, oversaw the installation of solar panels on the White House roof, a symbolic gesture echoing a commitment to environmental stewardship. The Solar Panels Project, initiated by President Jimmy Carter, aimed to harness renewable energy and reduce the nation's dependency on fossil fuels. This visionary act wasn't just symbolic, it inspired future generations and laid the foundation for a sustainable ethos. As the 39th First Lady, Rosalind Carter left an indelible mark on the nation's fabric. Her tenure was not just a chapter in history, but a testament to the power of empathy, advocacy, and quiet influence. From the corridors of power to the hearts of the American people, Rosalind Carter, with her unwavering resolve, reshaped the narrative of the White House and the nation it served. As the sun's energy gleamed off the solar panels atop the White House, Rosalind and Jimmy Carter's commitment to sustainability was a radiant beacon that transcended borders. This dedication not only sparked a local movement, but laid the groundwork for a global impact. From harnessing renewable energy to championing humanitarian causes, 
their vision expanded beyond national boundaries, giving rise to the Carter Center, a beacon of hope and transformative change on the global stage. Founded in 1982 by Rosalind and Jimmy Carter, the Carter Center became a force for change on the global stage. From eradicating diseases to championing democracy and conflict resolution, the Carter Center's impact reverberates across borders. In 1986, the center launched its Kinney Worm Eradication Program, contributing to a staggering reduction from 3.5 million cases in 1986 to just 27 cases in 2022. The center's democracy program facilitated free and fair elections in over 39 countries, solidifying its commitment to democratic principles. Rosalind's impact extended globally through her efforts in global diplomacy. She believed in the power of dialogue, emphasizing, you have to listen to people and then make your own mind up. That's the way you learn and change. This philosophy fueled her work in conflict resolution and peace negotiations, leaving an indelible mark on international relations. For Rosalind Carter, humanitarianism was not a concept, but a way of life. Her belief that life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away, underscores her dedication to creating breathtaking moments for those in need. This isn't a tale of conquering peaks. It's a poetic climb, a waltz through challenges, and a belief in the magic of empathy and advocacy. But wait, the saga doesn't peak here. If the twists and turns of Rosalind's tale left you captivated, brace yourself for more magic in these additional episodes. Click on one of these episodes, each a treasured trove of enchantment, and let's continue the journey together. Will it be a story that resonates with your dreams, or perhaps one that sparks new aspirations? And always remember, your thoughts are not mere whispers, they are symphonies waiting to be conducted. Share your reflections and stories in the comments below. Hit the like button if this melody resonated with you. And if you yearn for more captivating narratives akin to Rosalind's, subscribe and stay enchanted for the unfolding chapters in our ongoing saga. Your story is a symphony waiting to be heard, and the world is poised to listen.